just want to give a brief explanation of what we're doing here this morning, what baptism is, and what it is not. Go ahead and have a seat. Baptism is not the way that you get into heaven. And not being baptized would not keep you from going to heaven if you have placed your faith in Jesus Christ. Baptism symbolizes what has already taken place by faith. That as a person who places their faith and trust in Jesus as Savior is cleansed, they are made a new creation, they are forgiven, and they're given the gift of eternal life. That is what happens when you place your faith in Christ. And so what we're doing today is a symbol of that new identity, that new creation that you become in Christ. The word baptize literally, literally means to immerse. And it was used in the clothing industry back in the time of Christ. And they would take a white t-shirt that didn't say, you know, easily manipulated by grandchildren on it. And they would dip it into blue dye and that white would become blue. And so this is symbolizing the new identity of these followers of Jesus who have placed their faith in him and want to tell you about that. So Jocelyn, come on up here. This is Jocelyn Stanis Street. And how old are you, Jocelyn? Ten. Ten. Okay. And uh, Jocelyn, have you placed your faith in Jesus as your Savior? Yes. And uh, you said when we talked about this that this has been going on since you were about two years old she's been uh, discussing wanting Jesus in her life and uh, thanks to grandma right is that grandma who's right there right there how about that so do you have anything else you want to say okay thanks Jocelyn for your faithfulness to share about Jesus Christ being in your life uh, go ahead and have a seat and we'll all go to the water toward the same time okay Sue Sue is a foreign exchange student from South Korea who lives with the Capones. She's going to tell you a little bit about her story. I was not raised in a Christian home, but when I came to America, I was brought into a new environment with a Christian home, school, and circle of friends. God has given me the people and experience in my life to lead me to himself through hard situations. I now believe that Jesus is Son of God, who died for my sins and rose again for my salvation, and that believing in Him, I can have eternal life. I pray that in going back to Korea, I can continue to be a light to my friends and family who are not Christians. I would like to thank Mrs. Sobe for always understanding me and answering my questions, Mr. Allen for helping me decide to be Christian, and the Capone and Lacourse families for being good examples of Christian families and making it possible for me to experience America. Thank you. Thank you. I, I forgot to do this, but for Jocelyn, would those who are part of Jocelyn's family, would you all stand up and express your uh, support for Jocelyn with her decision? This is Grandma and Grandpa dad and little brother uncle and aunt so uh, we're glad to have them with us and who all is here with sue the whole capone clan here one of her teachers who's had her and friends the headmaster from uh, from uh, faith heritage uh, and also kind of pseudo uncle so to speak so thank you very much for supporting them and uh, last and certainly not shortest uh, we have nick cesarini nick come on up he has the Cesarini vertical jeans. And Nick is a senior in high school. Where are you going to be going next year? Um, I'm going to the Marine Reserves. All right. Well, yes. All right. Um, well, I was always brought up in a Christian home. I've always considered myself a Christian. But um, I think this year is when I finally decided that I needed to get serious about God and what he was doing in my life. Um, I just started getting serious about it and praying more often. I never really prayed or read the Bible at all, and I just kind of went to church every Sunday, and I thought that was it. But um, this year, I just kind of changed. I'm not exactly sure why, but I just felt the need to start reading the Bible more and being more in-depth in Christ and what I was doing. Um, I started praying every night, reading my devotion that my mom and dad gave me, and um, I really started to see a change in my life. I started to become more mature and um, more God-centered instead of self-centered. Um, my life kind of just changed around and everything 
kind of started becoming a lot more positive. I saw the positives instead of the negatives and um, kind of the glass half full type of thing. Um, I had, let's see, well now that senior year is almost up, I have a lot of decisions to make and one of the biggest decisions was obviously um, joining the Marine Reserves. Um, I know that with God by my side, I can conquer that and although boot camp is going to be one of the most challenging things I ever face in my life, I know with God by my side that I can do it and that he's going to be with me at all times. So um, I just kind of wanted to make this baptism as a new way and new cleanse to know that he's here and I'm there with him. And uh, I just wanted to thank the people in my family, obviously, the friends and family and the people in the morning Bible study for uh, walking with me in my uh, faith. So. Let's have uh, all that Cesarini team stand up, too. Would you all stand up? That's uh, the support structure for this guy. And a lot of folks. It's great to have people on your team. But we're going we're gonna to go up uh, behind the curtain and around the back, and uh, Jocelyn will, will go right in the order that they shared. So, Jocelyn, follow me. Why don't you use the end door down around the... Uh, there you go.
you all stand and join me in prayer? God, thanks for that love that you have for us that reaches across the centuries. And as we have seen and heard this morning, it reaches across the continents and across generations. Jesus Christ came to earth to save sinners, among whom we all are. And so God, thank you that these three have demonstrated their obedience to you and their willingness to declare themselves as followers and disciples of Jesus Christ. Bless their walk with you. Give them great fruit as you change them internally and as you use their influence among others. Thank you for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless.